Happy Sunday! I am the supplier, and this is Sunday Bookstack for the week of February 10th, 2013. Okay, so I am almost never absent from school. I hate being gone because people have a really hard time stepping into my class and, and with the way it's structured. And while I don't think it's complicated, I've been teaching it for a number of years now and have been refining how it works. So, needless to say, I was out half a day on Thursday because of the district spelling bee, and I have a kid who was reading Unholy and a kid who was reading The Fault in Our Stars in one of the classes that I missed, and they're both in ebook form. But because the equipment is mine and I didn't know who the sub was going to be, I didn't leave that equipment behind and left them a note that said, I'll go do other things during independent reading time because I, I'm not here. And, well, they were less than thrilled with me when they saw me on Friday, and I'm actually kind of happy about that. And now, onto the stack. I have four books in my stack this week, even though there are only three pictured in the thumbnail, um, so we'll talk about the missing one first. This weekend, I had planned to finish Makes Me Wanna Holler by Nathan McCall. It's really, really interesting. Um, but in my infinite brilliance, I left it as a bowl. So it is making a repeat appearance this week. Today, I am reading My Friend Dahmer by Durf Beckdurf. And I can't remember where I heard about this one, but it's a graphic novel and it's about uh, Jeffrey Dahmer's youth. Backdurf set out to tell the story that wasn't told by the media. I'm 70 pages in already, and it's incredibly intriguing. So last month's 20th century literature read was Cat's Cradle, and this month, since I read them in the wrong order, is Brave New World, which I really enjoyed the last time I read it. So, uh, Tim, when you're ready to talk about it, whatever questions you have, let me know. It will be done. I will be done this week. And the fourth book in my book stack for this week is Ask the Passengers by A.S. King. And I've wanted to read some A.S. King since my Alan friend Laura was hunting for either Please Ignore Vera Dietz or Everybody Sees the Ants. I can't remember which, but this was the last time I saw her. Like, seriously hunting. Um, a number of readers whose opinion I respect said this one was very good, so I picked it up. I do have Please Ignore Vera Dietz in the stack on my desk one of the two to read stacks on my desk. So I will probably get to that soon. I'm excited, it should be a uh, really good reading week for me. So last week I asked you guys what books you've read because of the hype um, and that have left you disappointed. And uh, here we go. Both a book hobbit and flew between weighed in with Beautiful Creatures as books that were disappointed in. Guys, I'm right there with you. Um, I felt like there was a lot more tell than there was show, and while I'm intrigued, I'm really glad I picked up the audiobook for, f like, four bucks. I mean, I'd love to go back to the beginning and count the number of times they talked about fracking lemons. I think it really could have been significantly shorter than it actually was, and I don't understand why everybody on in Booktubia, like, loves this book so much. Till chapter three, I understand about beauty queens. And while I, I, I don't think it's like the best of Libba's books, um, I did find it hilarious, but I think what kept me reading was drawing the parallels between it and Lord of the Flies. Um, there were a lot of things like the pirates in the reality TV, reality TV that I, I just couldn't figure out. The Book Thief. I saw another booktuber, and I can't remember who it was off the top of my head right now, say she had problems with this one as well. Um, I found the narration a little confusing at first, but myself, I got into it. Um, Biddy Bums, I'll find out who that other booktuber is and let you know so you guys can, you know, commiserate about your difficulties with the book thief. And Divergent. You know, Flew Between, this is one of those books that I read, but it didn't really stick with me. I think. It was because I read it really close to after I read The Hunger Games, and The Hunger Games just kind of overshadowed everything. My answer is The Tragedy Paper, which I finished a couple days ago, and I've actually planned to do an entire video on it, so that'll be up on Tuesday. So I'll talk more about my answer to this question then. 
Thanks for your answers to last week's question. I'm really, really enjoying this interaction with you guys. Um, there are links to the channels of the YouTubers who answered last week's question in the description. This week's question is about influence, and it comes from my selection of Acts the Passengers this week. So, how influenced are you by the opinions of other readers? Leave your thoughts about this question, uh, feature shelf requests, and whatever else in the comments of wherever you happen to be watching this video. So that's it for me today. It's going to be a busy week here on the channel, so I'm gonna go get working on those other videos. Have a great week. I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.